I must say I'm very surprised. I was driving back home from work and this video caught me off guard. Mr. Repsion, formerly, or yeah, formerly Mr. Repsion, now he's just Repsion, uh, has a lot of subscribers and is fairly successful. He started out as a Christian apologist, then atheist apologist, then starting beef with others, Onision, then reactionary. So when he announced that he's quitting in 2024, it caught me by guard. Apparently he made a video before this. I did not watch it. This is an explanation. So let us see together. Let us hear together what are the reasons and why. Once again, total shock. And this is the first time I see him with uh, tattoos. I think they're recent. He had no tattoos before as far as I know. He changed over the years, but whatever. Hey, so in a video I made a couple weeks ago, I mentioned that in 2024 that YouTube is going to be my last year. So yeah, I'm correct. He did make a video before. I did not imagine that part. Year. At the year 2024, sometime during that time, when I don't know yet, uh, I will no longer be creating content on this channel and that I'm retiring out. Uh, this is the thing that's not about uh, just reps. A lot of people retire from YouTube. Man, YouTube is not a job to retire from. It's a hobby. You can make one video every two years or every day. Uh, the thing robs me the wrong way when YouTubers come out and say, I'm going to retire. And a lot of people in the comments expressed concern about that and were really worried and strange, wanted yeah. to know why in a more detail because I know in that video I was really, really vague. If you're going to make this sort of videos as shocker and whatnot, at least have a full explanation so that your loyal viewers know why. This is the least you can do for people who have supported you over the years. But who am I to say anything, right? And so I wanted to give you more of an explanation because I feel like I owe that to folks on yeah. why in 2024 is going to be my last year. And I just want to come on here as raw and real and transparent as possible. And I'm going to get emotional during this because it's it's a long journey. Um, this is the thing, uh, once again, that uh, nothing wrong with being emotional, but uh, man, this is not a funeral. And I know that you've been on YouTube for a while. I too will be sad if I'm forced to leave. Uh, let's hear his reasons. I did not watch the full video. Uh, I don't know, man. Get an emotion, overly emotional. And Repsion is an emotional person. He had a lot going on in his life. So yeah, maybe this links to this. You know, I've been doing YouTube for over, f for no, I started YouTube in 2008. That's so I've been doing it for a really, really long time, right? And when I first came to YouTube as a Christian, I was really, really emotionally vulnerable. Um, I was just a completely different person, obviously, when you're a teenager. Yes, I think YouTube was his only platform to express himself and his emotion his feelings back then there were no instagram facebook i believe was there but facebook is kind of garbage from the start uh, so yeah he had a platform to fully express himself unlike now where censorship is left and right so he was given an outlet and i can see why youtube is so special to him so when you grow older you change um but throughout my YouTube career, essentially, I had to build really, really thick skin fast or else I just couldn't handle making content. I couldn't handle people making fun of me. I couldn't handle people criticizing me for every which way uh, of me mispronouncing words, of me not saying a word properly because of my speech impediment. This is a problem on social media more than real life because people sit behind their keyboards but I don't know, is it me? I'm blessed that I never really cared about those sort of things. Uh, what people that I don't know from all over the world, uh, the opposite side of the globe, say about my video. I don't know, man. But each person is different, so there is that. For me, being dyslexic and reversing some sort of thing. Um, people making fun of my nasally high-pitched voice. A lot of the things like when I started YouTube, that was 
that comes with the territory whenever you put yourself online even in video games not just youtube there are people who are gonna oppose you and make fun of you that's just life sadly it's a common thing people would make fun of me and it, it bothered me when I, you start first start youtube because you're not used to having so many eyes on you and you get hundreds of comments of people just pointing out all these problems and what you're doing wrong and stuff and it really affected me right think about it this way for anybody who's starting youtube people will criticize uh take their notes if they're constructive and try to implement them if not just ignore it but over time i i had to build a level of armor around me and over the years every year it's just gotten a layer bigger 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 and it's really made me desensitized to the real world the world that we live out every single day that well, your channel uh, did trigger a lot of people, be it the atheism, Christianism, uh, starting beefs with other YouTubers. You kind of put yourself in that field. So a lot of people will disagree. And we know there are a lot of crazy people uh, on the Internet that will do crazy stuff to you. So uh, online speaking. So you kind of had to do that. That's not going to war. You have to have protective gear and whatnot. So this is actually a good thing that you filter out the negativity and focus on the positivity because a lot of people like him, subscribe to him for every negative comment. There are hundreds positive. So, yeah. You go out to the grocery store, you go out and shop, you go out and work a job nine to five, whatever job that is, whether that be welding, whether that be any job that you are interested in, whether you're, it doesn't matter. The point is, you're not sitting here in front of a camera, talking to a camera, uploading a video, editing a video, and being disconnected with people, reality, and the real world around you. And over the course of years... YouTube is YouTube. Real world is real world. You don't deal with people on YouTube. This Actually, yes, you. I tend, a lot of people tend to be real. This is my real personality. I'm not playing a character. Hence why I disliked a lot of YouTubers playing a character just be you you and youtube is for being you but treating your audience is different than being in real life i'm not gonna say the actually i may but you get the point you're not gonna say the same stuff here or there if you're making a video like for example i'm not gonna go to my boss and say hey let's go trolling or whatnot you get the point i mean being real is a must but youtube is not the same as real life you don't use the same uh, words or the same uh, talking points in a YouTube in real life than you use on YouTube uh, and vice versa. I don't know if you're getting the point. I'm losing myself. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. My shell has gotten so thick of defense of basically having thick skin that I've extended that thick skin to expe have expectations of my friends, my families, relationships, people close to me, friends. Okay, this is the first time I see it uh, clearly. It's a sword, I believe. Not fan of tattoos, but good for you, I guess. Hope you don't regret it. And I've expected them to be able to have that thick skin too. And that's unrealistic. Yeah, people are different. Not everybody has a thick skin. I admit I myself was way over sensitive, but as I grew older and understood the world around me, I tend to adapt. This is why people grow. And I know I don't mean by age, grow mentally and physically both. Right. But because I'm so ingrained in this YouTube world, it's disconnected me from the real world and reality. This is your mistake. You, as I said earlier, you should treat YouTube and the internet as the internet, real world as the real world, gaming and real world is different, making videos is different. Uh, once again, be real, but don't mix the thing together. Work is work, relaxing is relaxing, making video is making video. Really unhealthy way. And in order for me to be the best version of myself, in order for me to really move forward the way that I want to in my life of having absolute privacy, I have to stop creating content on this channel. Okay, now we're getting into privacy section. Uh, I believe uh, I understand what 
he will say next that uh, the negativity is spilling to his real world by doxing, attacking, and whatnot. And this is a big concern on YouTube, and YouTube is not taking this very seriously or as serious as they should, as this he's not the first person to say it. Uh, people get attacked outside of YouTube uh, after they got the information on YouTube or what, uh, or uh, people get, the point is people that uh, don't like YouTubers tend if they got their dogs to attack them outside of YouTube. Um, sometime in 2024. And it's really, really hard because this has been such a big part of me for... I don't understand why 24, you can stop now. Why is it sometime in 24, uh, he's announcing it for a reason? So long. Um, I have a lot of fun memories, uh, but the negatives of having a YouTube channel this size really outweighs the positive by far. You control your YouTube channel, you control your audience, you control what you say, you control uh, what you do. I know that everyone make mistakes, you sh made mistakes you should have not have made, and you're a big channel, way too big. So there is that, but uh, everybody can control, you can scale down, push one type of content, push content once a month, whatever, positive or, yeah, you are mostly in control. And if you're not, just ignore that part. Um, and like, for example, right, I made a video with my mom a long time ago, and people were really mean in the comment section. They were making fun of her teeth not being straight or whatever. And when my mom voiced to me how that really hurt her feelings and that really is a horrible thing for people to say about her, my response to her was just deal with it, have thicker skin. That is the correct response because let's be honest, as horrible as those thing is, you cannot do anything. Trolls exist on the internet since the beginning of time. That is something you cannot change, nor do I change. It is not right, but yeah. And at least there were just insults, uh, not doxing, no, nothing. And your mom is older. She should understand. Actually, maybe she doesn't understand how the internet works. Out of older people don't understand how the internet works. They've never been ridiculed like this because the people are anonymous online. So they say whatever they want. And there are a lot of horrible people that say stuff they know they can get away with. But that's the thing. That's how the world works. So getting a thicker skin is the only positive solution or just close your YouTube or don't film videos. And that's been my mentality for years. That's a good mentality. And I'm realizing that that mentality is not just wrong, but it shows a complete lack of empathy. You can have empathy, but you can also be realistic. Both things can be true at once. I'm not saying be a robot, but this thing, the trolls, you cannot do anything about them. So yeah, be empathetic toward other human beings but ignore the trolls i don't understand how having a thicker skin with the trolls uh, is bad i'm not asking you to be a robot with everyone have thick skin with everybody actually having thick skin is good in general but you know what i mean and a complete lack of understanding and putting myself in somebody else's shoes once again be understanding empathetic just don't care about the negativity if it's just trolling on what they're experiencing and this channel essentially has i've allowed myself i've allowed myself to like be cut off from being able to sh display genuine empathy from people because i have this shell around me that's been so big and built because once again we're s he was bringing the same topic youtube and real life is different you separate the two things you ignore the trolls, but at the same time be empathetic to the people that deserve it, not the people that want to take advantage of you and whatnot. I don't understand why this is a problem. Because I have to in order to protect myself on the internet. I don't understand how do you have to be ignorant of others' experiences in real life to protect yourself on the internet. Somebody please the comment let me know. I know, I, I know what he's trying to say, but this does not compute. Maybe I'm this special and I'm not bothered and I'm blessed that uh, to have two different uh, approaches to life and internet. I don't know. And 
maybe I shouldn't even be mentioning this, but I'm at a place right now and this place moving forward is where I'm really emotionally vulnerable. This is really bad. I mean, okay, being emotional to a, an extent is okay, but not saying like I'm overly emotional, sensitive, because like, once again, bad people exist, trolls exist. You have to balance. Balancing is the key. It's not black or white one way or another. There is in between. Like insanely emotionally vulnerable and I'm wearing my emotions out on my sleeve and and I'm in therapy once a week, sometimes two, three times a week, depending on, on how badly I need it. And I'm really working on being the person I used to be when I was a teenager in regards to being able to be open emotionally and be able to just show empathy towards people around me and be able to just endlessly give to people and give and give and give. Giving is actually good. A lot of good people do that. Being empathetic towards others is great. I know we're repeating the points, but he's repeating the same thing. Ignore the bad people, negativity on the internet. Be the good guy. Uh, block them or just ignore the negativity if they have constructive uh, criticism implement it and actually learn otherwise be the same people why do we have to be this way on, both on the internet and real life uh, one way or another and give um, and it's really really hard when this has been an on like years of building these walls and now it's just like there's nothing here and to continue to create content yeah i just can't, i can't do it i don't want it's not that i can't i don't want to uh, this i i'm not understanding this point please someone can educate me why does stop create i know what he's trying to say but you can adjust your emotional uh, if that's a thing sensitivity to people outside go to charities help others call your friends do good things uh, do work uh, better yourself learn and make content here and there on youtube if one if one type of content is bothering you then don't do it for example make video about you learning or you're doing charity and ignore the trolls my desire to continue on doing this doesn't exist anymore this is not a burnout this is like i am genuinely not happy creating content on this channel anymore and doing what i've been doing for years it maybe the problem is with your content that attracts certain type of people i know doing uh, beefs and reactions i'm reacting right now <laughs> that's ironic but doing every type of content brings the negativity with it i know that even doing harmless content like gaming whatever brings negativity but you kind of in the field of doing responses and beefs with people so doesn't satisfy me and i want to be able to connect with people in a more meaningful way and i feel as if as long as this channel is a as long as i'm creating on this channel there's that disconnect what does making content online stop you for calling your mom, your family, your friends, or doing charity right now? I do not understand this. Please, somebody explain this to me. That disconnect, and I don't want to be solidified in a world of being disconnected from people in real life. Then don't. I've been so heavily involved in the internet culture for so long. This is the thing. You're too deep into the internet culture. Put the keyboard down, the camera down, and go outside, touch grass. That it's affected my family, it's affected relationships, it's affected real life people who know me. Don't put everything online. And I don't want them to experience that anymore. I shouldn't have to worry. I don't want my parents worrying about being swatted again. This is a problem, as I said earlier, uh, people doing harm. To youtubers and their families outside of youtube for stupid for any reason actually swatting and what never and whatever is bad and uh, i have my own opinion on swatting but that's for another video but this is bad really bad and i agree with this but even if you stop today what say that they will stop doing this there's no guarantee 
okay? There's so much stuff that happens behind the scenes. My, my parents are in their 60s. My mom's turning 70. I don't want my mom worried about being swatted. I don't want somebody I'm dating to worry about their door being broken down because somebody doesn't like me on the internet and they want to violate our privacy and post personal information and where I, every place I move and where I live and the address gets posted and people show up. Yeah, doxing is bad. It happens on and off YouTube, even on other social media, even playing online. Doxing is bad and unfortunately nothing is being done and this is part of the internet now. No, not people don't talk about that stuff very often. There's so much stuff that I don't talk about that happens behind the scenes that upsets me and hurts me and hurts my family and my loved ones. My loved ones, that's the thing that ultimately is one of the biggest reasons is my loved ones are affected by this channel because there's crazy people out on the internet and people are invasive, they're cruel, and if they don't like you for whatever reason, they'll do anything they can possibly to disrupt your life. Uh, unfortunately, this is the part where I agree with him. Yes, trolls, harmful trolls. It's not just harmful jokes. Uh, trolls and bad people do exist in real life and cause YouTubers and other people's uh, problems, sometimes serious problems. To disrupt your peace. And I want peace and I want to extend peace to other people. Unfortunately, uh, as a grown-up, I learned that peace is... There There will never be a time in your life where you have 100% peace. There will always be issues, there will always be problems, even if you lock yourself in your home. But to reduce it, I understand if you want to cut YouTube down to reduce it. But, yeah. Who I love and care for. And as long as this channel... I'm creating videos on this channel. I fully can't be the best version of myself for my family and loved ones. Actually, you can. Like I said, you make uh, positive only content and whatnot once a month or even less. You don't have to cut YouTube 100%. You can be a great guy outside, a great guy outside, and do yeah good stuff and go out with your family and whatnot. The way that I need to be. So that's why I'm stopping YouTube in 2024. Um, when I stop, I don't know. It's just going to be sometime in 2024. Um, but I know there's a lot of questions. Uh, what am I going to do with the channel? What about my videos? Well, I plan on keeping my videos up on this channel because I think that would be a really large disservice to subscribers and viewers just to remove everything. Um, and number two, I plan my, my goal. This is what I would like. And this is an also opportunity for anybody watching this. If you are an investor and would like to buy this YouTube channel, the stipulation being is that you can't delete the content. Wait, what? You're selling your channel? And the stipulation is that old videos, uh, some of them... Uh, which you may want to take down that contains information or for any reason you want to take down will stay up and be in control of another person that kind of <laughs> that kind of uh, removes everything that you said earlier about peace and whatnot that's a horrible thing to do i don't know if you're trolling or you you, you haven't thought this uh, through but this is a horrible idea on it um, you can rebrand it you can make it whatever you want ideally take this name repsion whatever selling your channel so this is what the video is about and this is why you really want to stop youtube as an investment so you can later maybe open another channel uh I, i'm jumping the gun here i guess maybe maybe not or change it into something new this is a huge investment opportunity because you will be able to make money through this channel um i've been successful with it for over 10 years it's always brought me a really stable income that's separate from even just YouTube revenue. I'm talking like sponsorships. So this is an ad for the channel now. <laughs> so whoever buys it, sponsorship and whatnot. Is it even legal to sell it and transfer ownership? I don't know. And stuff like that. I and if you know how to use the algorithm to your advantage, you could really make this channel explode and become even more profitable than it
or maybe you can start your own channel and if you're good with the algorithm and whatnot and good content you can make your own brand buying another man's brand and turning it into your own is kind of i don't know weird yes um you know i i make over seven i make about 70 over seventy thousand dollars a year um that's just specifically in it's kind of it gives me the vibes of buying subscribers this vibes sponsorships typically on the channel that's separate from youtube ad revenue so i'm going to sell this channel at some point i'm going to use a uh, a website oh what's it called imagine me buying it and turn it to gears of war channel that will be awesome it's called uh scrozy s-c-r-o-w-i-s-e -S -S -E. and basically what it is it's just this uh company that you find a buyer and the buyer and me, the seller, we discuss a price, the price is sold, and they are basically a company that sells YouTube channels. And the, the I didn't know that was a thing. Seems like sketchy, but yeah. The middleman where basically, basically gives you know, the information and the transfer of the channel and all the legal funds. They hold the funds and then transfer it over to me and then ad revenue and all that stuff. They basically are the middleman who gets buyer and seller to have a really smooth transaction and all that um just for for context sake this channel itself has over 175 million total views like in total um i am i was at i checked the other day and i'm almost at 1 billion impressions and if you're not familiar with impressions like that's a billion, almost a billion people have seen me, have seen my thumbnails, have seen my content popping up. It's, this is a big channel. And there's a lot of investment opportunity in this channel if somebody decides to buy it. And it's, I've already had an offer of over a hundred thousand. That's gonna be definitely over that amount. Um, I did an evaluation and it came out from over a hundred, about between hundred. And here I was thinking I will buy it for 100 bucks. Okay, Gears of War, we'll have to wait. 150000 to 230000 in terms of the value of this why, channel. Why is there dust on my router? I hate when seeing dust particles. I don't know if you like me or not, but I... Okay, now the dust is behind the desk. Great. Uh, and the brand that I built, because like you get the channel... Exactly, you built a brand around yourself. Now another person buying it, he's not you the audience may not want to watch him it weird if you build it correctly with the views uh, my views have always like fluctuated there's some videos do good some videos do bad but if you know how to hit the algorithm man you can pop this off in such a financial way that you'll be making double what i make in a year you know minimum you're already going to start making seventy thousand dollars a year if you just start creating content and you are good at it right so yeah, that's the state of that. Um, if anyone who's watching this wants to put up a bid or is interested in purchasing this channel, uh, let me know. Send me an email. Link down below in the description. Guess my hundred bucks won't cut it. That's my my business email. Uh, we can talk and discuss, and I can send you analytics specifically if you want to see on this YouTube channel. And then what else? Um, Yeah, um, I think that's it, and <sighs> this is hard, man. It's really hard, but it's something that I have to do. I understand why you're doing this. I need to do. I guess I want to do because I just ultimately can't be what. I what if the person uh, buys it and deletes the videos or does something malicious? I mean. Uh, you have self-help videos that help you through when you said you made them to help other people. Kind of the best thing is to leave the channel. I need to be in as long as this is my identity, you know? Exactly, you're, say, you're selling your identity, which is the channel. This is, it's not healthy for me. And that's what's most important is I wanna be healthy and I want my family to be healthy. I want my loved ones to be healthy. And I don't... You can do all that without leaving YouTube or selling your channel.
want my privacy violated anymore. It's been privacy. If they already have your address, there is nothing. Sadly, there is nothing stopping them from doing malicious acts to you once you sell the channel. If anything, they will harass the other person who bought it and still harass you. And violated so many times that I just can't deal with it anymore. Especially now that I know I no longer have my walls up. I'm no longer. What do you mean you don't have your walls up? It's not a switch to flip. Thick skinned, as you would call it, everything affects me. In a move to Ukraine, nobody will care about you there. Really, really big way now, and I can't do YouTube as if, if it, everything affects me because I'm just gonna spiral down, and I know that. That's actually unhealthy. If everything affects you, you've been overly emotional. This is really bad. Uh, so. Um, I'm going to be con continuing creating content into 2024. I do want to let you guys know that. So I have another video coming out next week. Let's see um, what that will be about. I have videos planned for January. I have videos planned until March, technically. March, April, May. Okay. Um, but we'll see, you know. We'll see what happens. Uh, I don't know. Everything's in, in, a, in a weird state right now. Um, if the channel doesn't sell, then at the end of the day, I'll just leave everything up and... Stop creating content altogether, and you just <laughs> videos will just stop being uploaded. I guess is what you could. Best way I can describe it. I don't know, but to everybody who's been watching me, supporting me over the years, thank you. I appreciate you, and I'm sorry. This is just what has to. It has to be this way because I want to move on to the next chapter of my life, and that involves welding. I believe you underwater welding or whatever. You said a while back, years back, that you will learn it. How is that going? Good money, man. I know a person that does that. Marriage. That involves a family. Whoa, nice, nice. And I can't give a family and I can't give support to the people that I want to give support to anyone in life if this channel is a priority of mine then don't make it a priority <laughs> for the millionth time i understand i don't understand how you cannot be supportive of other people if you're creating content so scale back on the youtube link down below in the description is also i'm only going to have a couple social media things left i have a twitter yeah close that up link down below um i have a streaming website known as kick kick.com kick dot slash darth potato Double H Darth, also linked down below, and I have a um, I'm 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 mind blanking right now. Oh, I have a gaming channel. My gaming channel is gonna remain. I'm not. I'm just gonna post on that probably very ill regularly. But but wait, 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 one minute. <laughs> okay, this just brings us to the point that I said. So you can create still content and be helpful and be positive it's just drama content that you want to stop so stop the drama content on this channel that channel will exist it's always going to exist because i do love video games i play a lot of video games and um yeah if you like if you're really all about my content and you really want to see videos from me go to my game but the trolls and the evil people that will dox you, they will not dox you as long as you have a video game content. This doesn't check. <laughs> Sorry, the, the logic is very weird. It seems more to me that he wants to sell this channel for profit more than anything. Channel. It's small, it's personal, and... Who's to say that after you close or sell this channel, everybody will flock to that channel and will have millions? And... It's video game stuff, and I don't really show my face a whole lot, but at the end of the day, don't care. I don't really want to be a public figure anymore in any capacity. I'm sorry, that's not it's how too it much. Work. It's caused too much issues, and I'm on to better things, healthier things, Good and you. yeah, so <sighs> thank you, and I'll see you guys in another video next week. Bye. Man, this video gives me strange vibes that you I understand what he, where he's coming from, but at the same time the logic is kind of messed up and I don't know who's to say the trolls will stop once 
you do delete this channel or sell it since you'll be active on another channel just post positive things here and yeah something is very strange I'm, the logic doesn't connect maybe i'm not understanding something his fanboys uh, can explain it to me but man this like when you started and at the end this doesn't scream legit i'm sorry not downplaying your struggles or whatever now we live in a sensitive area where everything's over sensitive but man uh, yeah whatever makes you happy i guess so anyway let me know in the comment section what you think write me your thoughts thank you for checking out the video and i'll talk to you in my next one